Oh, so cool. What a dream. This is my dream. Hey guys, we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Please subscribe. What's up, my Buhai squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, welcome to another vlog here at the Mabuhai Squad Farmhouse. Mm -hmm. Guys, today is a pretty cool day. Um, someone contacted me, a friend, asking if I was willing to adopt two lizards. Um, and they are called sailfin dragons. All of you reptile people out there know this species, very popular species, and they're native to the Philippines. Um, so these were captive bred sailfin dragons, and uh, they are found throughout the Philippines, and especially near bodies of water. Now, these are two young lizards, um, and I've always wanted sailfin dragons, even when I was a kid. And I had no idea back then that they were from the Philippines. Um, but um, I've always wanted them because I wanted to try releasing them into our aviary. Uh, and that idea was brought to me by Jay Prehistoric Pets. You guys know Jay, um, who is a very popular um, animal guy. He owns his own like animal zoo shop uh, where he has several cool reptiles. Um, but he was here in the Philippines uh, several months back and he was kind enough to visit. And then when we were touring this aviary, he was like, why don't you release sailfin dragons in here? Honestly, I'd probably have a couple, I would have a couple sailfin dragons in here. Oh, I I've... have a couple big, a big branch that was yes. like that. Yes, I want to release down. reptiles here. Yeah. I do. And, uh, sailfin dragons, you recommend? A sailfin dragon. I love them. Chinese They're native to here dragon. too. Oh, okay. And then we've got and a water feature for them too. Absolutely. They love running water. They would co-mingle with the birds. They won't mess with the birds. They won't eat no, my birds? No, they won't bother with your birds. Oh, good. That's good I to mean, know. I'm like, ah! That is an awesome idea! So, I've been, like, keeping my eye open for sailfin dragons. Um, and, well, particularly breeders uh, that sell them legally. Like, with papers and all that. Um, and so, totally manifested this. It's crazy. Um, a friend contacted me a couple nights back and was like, are you willing to adopt my two baby sylphin dragons? Um, completely legal with papers, etc. So I'm like, yes, I'm willing to take them. So, it will be largely experimental. Now they eat insects and they eat a little bit of plants. So this will be very experimental. Uh, according to Jay, he suggests I place like the insects, crickets, um, you know, feeder roaches and superworms into like a tub and train the lizards to get those insects from a tub. There are also like insects that enter the aviary just from the mesh top. So that should be cool. Um, they sh they'll be getting natural sun in here. Um, I expect them to climb to the top and bask there regularly. Now, again, this is all experimental. I'm not sure if the birds will attack the lizards out of like territorialism, but the lizards should not attack the birds. We'll see. If they don't do well in the aviary, um, I'll probably move them to our outdoor 60 foot pond, um, just in our yard and like just release them, which is also something I've wanted to do to just release, um, you know, water dragons in our pond where they could just live and catch bugs like they would out in nature. And if they decide to leave my yard um, and enter the forest in my yard, then so be it. I mean, they're, they're native and they are found here everywhere. But let's hope we create an environment that encourages them to stick around. Um, but I believe the lizards are here. All right, guys, here they are. <gasps> Look at them. They're beautiful. Okay, but they're a little skittish. I mean, understandably. Let's release them in the aviary. Oh my gosh, this is, I'm a little nervous because this is all very experimental. This whole aviary has been one massive experiment. Like people told me, don't get songbirds. They'll kill themselves against the glass. You can't have an aviary that's glass. And well, our aviary is glass and they're fine. We just had to glass train them. Let's see 
if it's possible to have mixed species. This is, I think, the male. He's bigger. He's really chill, so I'll do him first. Come on. Yes. Let's put him by the pond. There you go. Oh, there he goes. Off, he's off. And now time for the female. Come on. Oops. Oops. There we go. Here's a look at them. Now they have a tendency to bash their snout against like aquarium glass. So I guess the guy who had them before um, kept them in an enclosure. It banged against the glass, I'm not sure. But let's release it now. Here you go. Go ahead. It's water for you. Ooh. Cool, right? Enjoy your new home. There's the other one way down there. Yep. We're going to leave some fruits and veggies for you, which the birds eat anyways, and some insects in a container. All right. What a dream. The lizard was just drinking. I saw it. Now I have some superworms here. Let's see if it will eat superworms. Here you go. Oops. Okay, it's gone. It's off. It's gonna climb the wall now, probably. Okay, the lizard's gone. Don't know where they are. Oh, there's the other one. Okay, let's see if it will eat a superworm. Throw one in there. Go ahead, go eat it. Eat it. No, not hungry. I mean, it's definitely kind of shocked as to where it is. Well, let's see. <laughs> okay, I should probably back off and like let it adjust on its own. Now that I have some small superworms here, let's try feeding some superworms to the coils. Come on, guys. Do you guys eat superworms? Chickens love superworms. Go. Okay, so a superworm is moving towards the quail. Let's see if the quail... Oh, there! Yep. And it's gonna eat the other one? No. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see? It loves... There we go. Entertainment for the quails. <laughs> They're hilarious. Quails are like mini chickens, essentially. Quails killing off this superworm before eating it. These are our silver quails. Quite expensive for such a small bird. Guys, one of the lizards came out. It's the male. He is the least shy. Like the female, it's the one that's shy. Okay guys, he is so quick. He just disappeared. Ran back into like behind the pond. I do think eventually the lizards will learn that humans are friends, but it will be a long, long process. Good morning, Mabuhai Squad. How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, so I'm looking into the aviary and I already see... Oh my gosh, what a dream! One of the lizards. Just right there. Now, it isn't so sunny. I wish it was. Because usually in the mornings they will bask. But it's cool to see him out in the open like this. And this is good. Like him seeing us humans walk around, all of that. We're not here to hurt him. Reptiles are smart, like over time, they will learn that humans are our friends. Just like the iguanas. Remember when we first had our iguanas? Like, they were scared. Now they're totally not. Especially when they see us bring food. Speaking of which, food is right there. Lots of great veggies. I've also scattered leaves all over the floor. Um, in case, you know, they just want to, they're passing by and they want to eat some of those veggies instead of those in the bowl. But this is all part of their training too. Guys, the way into a reptile's heart is through food. They're exactly like birds. Oh, speaking of which guys, oh, I gotta show you, there's more great news. Woke up in the morning to these little ones here in the ant room. Guys, look. We've got two newborn chicks. There's one, and there's the other. Hi there. 
They're native chickens, so like the regular kind here in the Philippines. Awesome, hi guys. So these chicks are from this batch of eggs. So maybe these three eggs here will hatch tomorrow. But aren't they so cute? Cute, cute, cute. Now uh, we left some of the eggs outside to try to give the mom a chance to raise her chicks. But every time we've allowed the hens to raise their own chicks um, from hatching, the chicks have died, sadly. Um, not sure if it's because of fire, like actually we suspected it was fire ants. Um, because there's a lot of ants out there that can really <laughs> kill chicks. Uh, so, not sure, maybe because it's the native chicken, they'll be more hardy and used to, you know, life here in the Philippines. We'll see, but um, apparently two chicks, two native chicks have also hatched outside. Um, let's go see them now. Ooh, it's a rainy day. Hi guys, the parrots. All right, which one of you guys has chicks? Oh, they're so cute, there they are. <gasps> Adorable. Oh, mom, congrats. Those chicks are so cute. So, I don't know, I think, I'm wondering if we should just like release the chicks that hatch in the incubator here so that like mom can take care of them. Or if we should raise them ourselves like we did with these two Rhode Island ch chickens from hatching until they're big enough to like survive out here. But oh, they're so cute. But to be honest, m no one can take care of these chicks like mom can. Like we could keep ours in, you know, in a little nest or a container and feed it like chick feed. but. Mom does the best. She goes out, she forages, she scratches in the ground, shows the chicks like how to eat insects. Hmm, let's see. I wonder, I wonder. But the chicks are so cute. Look at how cute they are. Man, look at how gorgeous the red golden pheasant is. Look at that plumage. Wow. So he's there with the female. The female's just right there. Gorgeous. Stunning. He lives inside this cage. Like the cage is open and they like to go inside. Hi there. You are so beautiful. What a gorgeous bird. I love pheasants. Here's Billy. Hey Bills. And Eilish. They are they are in their room. They're, they want to stay out of the rain. The iguanas, however, like the rain. Look, out in the rain. Hi, hi guys. Looks like they're eating some freshly harvested weeds. Hi guys. More iguanas out there. See? Waiting for the sun to come out. The iguanas are doing so well, guys. Like. They are just so hardy. Hi there. Beautiful. They're getting big, these ones. This is Eve. That's Adam. And way up there is our blue iguana, Magnus. Awesome. You know, keeping iguanas, reptiles in general, keeping them here in the Philippines is so easy because it's a tropical country, right? And like you literally just need to keep them outside in a cage where they get natural sunlight, give them a place to climb, and they just do so well. Especially the iguanas, like they're totally okay eating the vegetation that you just gather there, full of micronutrients, and they just do so well. OMG guys, you won't believe. Um, Karen on our team just found something. Wow! Holy! Do you guys see it? Okay, random chicken here. Look at that! Look at that egg! 
I think, okay, there are two possibilities. This is either a monitor egg, so a type of lizard. Oh, it's so big. And whatever's inside is moving. Or this is a python egg. OMG. Wow. Let's bring it in. So guys, before bringing this inside to incubate it, these red metal planks are for something we are working on. Guys, we are finally working on roof construction for our solar panels. Yay! We're finally installing solar panels. Um, but first we need to create the structures for them and that will take quite a while. But so they have the scaffolding all here ready and I can't wait for us to go more green. Oh my gosh, guys. Yay! Look who I see all the way up there. It's the lizard. It's basking. Awesome, yes. <gasps> so cool. I'm not sure which one this is, but it does look like it's the female. So we've run out of crickets, so I'm just waiting to buy some. Um, we'll be getting them soon, probably later today. And I'll put them in a, like a container so that they can see them and hopefully they'll come down and eat them. But it's good to see that so far the birds are leaving the lizards alone. OMG guys, I just found the other one. Right there. See it? Okay, now looking at it, now I think that is the female. Because it's smaller, which means that one way up there is the male. Oh, so cool! What a dream! This is my dream! Let's see if I can come over here and not scare it. Hi there, buddy. Oh my gosh, so cool. Hi, girl. Nice to see ya. Promise I can't get to you from here. <laughs> She's stunning. Oh, Cypher, no! You're gonna scare it. Come, size, let's go. All right, this is good. This is very, very good. It's so cool. Gosh, guys, honestly, a dream, dream come true. So cute. The birds are curious about the lizard. He's moved on to this side now. They're curious. They're checking out that lizard. They're like, what are you? The colors on the lizard are just stunning, beautiful. Philippine sailfin dragon. Unreal. See look, two birds are now checking him out. <laughs> they just don't know what to make of him. So guys, it's nighttime. And check out this skilled hunter. <gasps> it's a oh, it's a baby gecko and it looks like he caught a forest cockroach. Sweet. Good job, buddy. Guys, reptiles are so awesome. They are awesome. Birds are awesome. Insects are awesome. All animals are awesome. Dogs are awesome. Man. Anyways, speaking of awesome animals, I just finished editing the Ants Canada video. Man, it took so long. Um, but I have less than two hours to upload it. And I hope you guys like it. Mm-hmm. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Did you sleep well? I hope so. So it's um, around 5.30 a.m. Look at the birds. Birds get up early, guys. I love birds. They are so awesome. Birds pretty much wake up as soon as light hits their eyeballs. And then, like, they go to sleep as soon as it gets dark. They're, they're very much so stimulated by light. Um, so these birds are getting up because light is coming through. Oh, and I see a lizard up there. Hi, lizard. Well, well, well. Guys, because it's September, as some of you may know or may not know, here in the Philippines, we start celebrating our Christmas season as soon as it hits September. And so look, we've got little Christmas like lawn art out. Um, last year we strung these with Christmas lights. Not sure if we're gonna do that again this year, we'll see. But 
we've started to get into the Christmas cheer. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I love this lawn art. Love it so much. Hi, little chickies. All right, guys. So these two chicks are ready to be moved to their nest. All right, guys. So now it's time to relocate them. Let's put some of the feeds there. Okay. Here they are, guys. Look, they're so cute. Go. Look, they're already pecking. They already know. There, I didn't even need to show them. There you go, go eat. That's right, eat, eat, eat. Peck, peck at this. They're so smart. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Look at their color, they're like black and yellow. And you know what, they will grow so fast. Yes, you will. Enjoy your nest. Yeah, so because of that large reptilian egg we found outside, I decided that I'll raise these like we did with our last chicks, which was raise them in this nest for the first few weeks until they're big enough, and then we'll move them to the aviary when they don't need the heat anymore. And then from there, when they're big enough, we'll move them outside. They have a better chance. Dogs discovered the chicks. They're trying to smell the chicks through the holes. Be nice, okay? They're our friends, they're our friends. Sahara loves animals. I don't know if she wants to eat them or if she's just genuinely interested in them. Yeah. Those are chicks, they're chicks. Those are chicks. See, those are chicks, they're chicks. Okay guys, let's go. No more chicks. <laughs> They're like, oh, why? I wanna watch the chicks. All right, so the chicks have finished eating and they already know to hang out under the heat lamp. Sweet. Aw. All right, guys. Ooh, one of you pooed already. But I got good news. I got proper feeders, so we don't have to worry about this nor this, but I'll keep this here anyways. But here's a food feeder, you feel free to peck at that. And then here's a water feeder. Drink from this, yes. Mm-hmm, go ahead. That's gonna be much better, cause then they can't stand in it and then poo in their food and water. So this will be much better for them. All right, so here on the roof deck, because I wanted to see the lizards. Awesome. Guys, one lizard is there. I don't want to scare it. Hi there. That's the female and there's the male up there. But the female just got scared. I think she's gonna run away. Sorry, I don't mean to scare ya. I'll, I'll back off now. But that's great. I love that the lizards know to come up here to bask in the mornings. I think they will do just fine in here. Hi there, buddy. Hi. <laughs> wow. Oops. Oh my gosh, it totally just dropped. Okay, where did it go? I mean, technically these reptiles are built for life in the trees, but I imagine it can't feel that comfortable landing on rock, if that's what it landed on. It could have also landed in these plants. Like, and ran here maybe. Oh, there it is. Are you okay? Hi there. Are you alright? Okay, it's still moving. Caught it. Hi there, are you okay? You fell from such a high place. This is the female, guys. But she seems okay. Oh, there she goes. <gasps> yeah, she's okay. But can you imagine 
jumping all the way from there, she probably like hit some branches on the way down or she aimed maybe for here. She probably fell through these trees and then plop. But she's okay, look at her. She's right there, trying to run away. Gosh, I love reptiles. What an awesome, awesome animal. All right, I'll leave you alone now. Crazy, crazy. So guys, there's the lizard right now. Hi there, hope you're okay. Okay, so according to Google, in the presence of predators, the Philippine sailfin dragon either drops from the tree branch it is residing on, runs or swims to the bottom of a body of water that is closest to it and can hold their breath for up to 50 minutes. Wow, these things are also great swimmers. What an incredible animal, cool, that's good to know. So they're adapted to be able to drop from, from heights that high. All right guys, and there you have it. What a dream come true to have those two sailfin dragons in our aviary. Oh, I've been trying to manifest this ever since. Well, I've been trying to manifest sailfin dragons for years. My idea was to have released them in our pond. Maybe these two lizards, when they get older, will be released in our pond, we'll see. Um, but to manifest them in the aviary, that took several months um, since Jay Prehistorics, Jay Brewer was here to implant the idea in my head. Anyways, guys, so if you enjoyed today's vlog, be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot. It lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. Thank you guys so much if you've been doing that. And if you haven't yet, do hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhay squad because we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Yes, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I can't wait to see these chicks grow up. I can't wait to see what hatches from that random reptilian egg. And I can't wait to see the progress of our aviary and all its inhabitants. See you in the next vlog, bye. Mm -hmm.